Hey guys, it's me, Nikita, and today I'm going to show you how to bypass what blocked websites or website blockings. So, first of all, I'm going to show you an example of a blocked website. So, Proxy Scrape is a website that's blocked by my ISP. Uh, here you can say secure connection failed, uh, it's because it's on HTTPS. But um, if we connect to it via HTTP, if your website allows us to, here you can see it shows that Xfinity blocked my website. And here it actually says safebrowse.io, but they're just doing some funky stuff that's making this look, look like it's, yeah, they're just doing funky stuff and they're blocking the website. So there's this tool that I'm going to show you that allows you to bypass this. Now. There are a few requirements. Um, there are alternative tools that I might make reviews on, but this is just one of the tools that it chooses that I like. So, first of all, you are going to need Java. I can put a link for you guys to install Java in the description, but hopefully you guys know how to do this. All right, so over here, I have the latest version of the tool and I'm going to open it. Um, normally you can open it uh, by double clicking, but I have to give it uh, special parameters because I'm running on high DPI. So here I started the tool. So this is um, the GUI of the tool. So it might look a little bit complicated, but I'm going to explain what's going on here. So here is the address and the port that it's going to be listening on. Now, the way this tool works is that it launches a proxy on your computer that does special stuff with the packets that make it so um, they can't get recognized and blocked. Uh, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Um, in here in the options menu, we have a lot of options. Um, ignore the graphical issues, that's because I'm running on high DPI. Um, normally, you don't need to change any of this, but if you are running into issues, try um, pressing on, try enabling and enabling some of these stuff and seeing if it does help. If it doesn't, I recommend not using them. All right. So all you need to do is press start. Well, this is all you need to do if the default things work. All you need to do is press start and then go to your web browser. In this case, I'm using Firefox. So we're gonna go into preferences and we are going to find our proxy settings. Now Firefox has a nice search um, option that I'm going to use because I don't know where they're located. And here we have proxy settings. So this uses a HTTP proxy. So we're gonna press manual proxy configuration. And you see it has our IP and our port here. So we're gonna type that in. 127.0.0.1 and port 8085. There we go. So now we press okay. And, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> what did we do? Um, manual proxy configuration, HTTP proxy, always use this proxy for HTTPS, and let's try that again. Okay, I had to enable it for HTTPS too, but as you can see, um, it worked, right? Okay, so, uh, I had to check, use this proxy for HTTP, FTP and HTTPS if you wanted the same issue. But as you guys can see here, we have access to the website that was blocked and we're gonna turn on turn off the proxy in our settings and it gets blocked again. Alright. So yeah that's it. Uh, we can access blocked websites now. Um by the way you guys should know this does not change your IP address. This isn't like a VPN or a normal proxy. This just makes it so that your ISP or government cannot successfully block websites. Now, what if, right, what if, let's say, you did this and still blocked? Like I said earlier, in the options menu, you have a lot more things you can do to try to hide it. So, you're gonna want to try these options here. 
um, and I recommend reading the manual on the GitHub page. But this is just a really cool tool that I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm not an expert on this specific tool. I literally found it like 10 minutes ago, but I'll try to help you. Um, have a good day. And, uh, so, yeah. Bye.